On today's classic movie review, AJ, we're not going back 10 years, but it's not too bad. We're just going back 20 years. Okay. okay? It's not too bad. As always, guys, AJ doesn't know the movie we're going to talk about today. You do. You've seen the thumbnail, so the reaction you see now is all natural. He doesn't know what movie we're about to talk about. AJ, if I say the words to you, my man, who do you think of? Denzel. One Denzel, of one of our favorite Denzel Washington movies, him and Dakota Fanning, Man <laughs> on Fire. Yeah. Tony Scott. Tony Scott. Tony Scott. <laughs> exactly that. 20 years old, bro. That's like, mad. wow. Do you know the mad thing about it is it's you can watch a lot of the stars of films go back to some of the stuff we looked at. Um, another episode cheap plug um kill bill okay some people may not no longer be with us but you look at uma firm and then and now not much has changed i'm looking at that post and i'm like dakota doesn't look like that anymore <laughs> like, yeah yeah that that's that that's a big thing that's what shows you 20 years yeah oh dear wow yeah and it's it's um it's weird with dakota isn't it because you look at the early years of her career, you know, she acted alongside Denzel. She acted alongside Kurt Russell, Robert De Niro. And every single one of them was saying, Tom Cruise. This, this girl, Tom Cruise, every single one of them was saying, this girl is levels of crazy good. It's mad. And she did Twilight. She's been in a Tarantino movie. Her career hasn't died, so to speak. But I don't think she's become like the mega 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 star as a young adult that everyone was anticipating she yeah. was going to be yeah. given the breadth L of her up. work it's crazy like i don't know where l popped up and there's the name the fan in that people talk about more so in a way well, either not... of them now they're both know, kind I'm of gonna, i'm not saying that l's like a mega star either but do you know everyone was like dakota dakota and it's like oh people are talking about l and now it's like where are the fan ins? i'm it's, gonna yeah. say just what everyone's thinking but i'm gonna have the balls to say it l's prettier so she gets more work it's Hollywood, mate. Aesthetics are everything. Fact. Just a fact. But what a movie this is. Denzel Washington decided to do a body transformation here, which I think made every single woman in the world go, oh, no, not my man. Because what he did, you know, he, he needed to portray someone who was suffering from PTSD and was a raging alcoholic. And what he did was so impressive, not just from a physical standpoint, but from an emotional vulnerability standpoint, the chemistry that he had on screen with Dakota, the believability in their relationship, the fact that he really did truly care about her and was invested in protecting her. And of course, in typical Tony Scott fashion, the movie gets gritty, man. It gets oh, so very gritty in the best possible Denzel Washington, Tony Scott way. Yeah, um, this was the part I was going to say. I think this was the film that I kind of made a benchmark for me of this is what a Tony Scott... If you ever ask me what is Tony Scott grit, Man on Fire is the film I'm going to point to. Yeah, feel the it editing, the film, this is, is story beats in the scenes that when he literally grenades a guy's arsehole open. <laughs> uh, like, literally. But, you know, yeah. that kind of the, 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 the color palette he uses, it's almost kind of like an oily green color gradient um, that he yeah. uses. As, not not the, the movie's not green the way The Matrix is, but it's got a very, very subtle tint of kind of greasy green that adds to the grit. Um, the, the, the kind of quick fire editing, some of the, the flame yeah. burns that you get. It's very purposefully Tony Scott. And, and the shots where they go in, they come out like it's, it's very, yeah it, yeah. it has you on edge. It has you on edge throughout. Uh, it's, do you know where I'd actually slam this movie a little bit? Because here's an interesting point. I've often been on record saying on this channel that just because something is overrated, that doesn't mean I'm meaning it's bad or good. I actually think Man on Fire is a tad overrated. I think the praise people have for it is a little bit too high. And I'll say this on record. I freaking love this film. Love, 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 love this film. Where did you say that? Because had it been three years ago, I would have argued the hills to you and be like, are you, what are you on? This is one of the greatest films ever. Rewatched it. As I said, within mm -hmm. the span of three years. It wasn't this year. But it was last year. And I was like... You know when you come in, and maybe it, I'm living in my own hype, because when I watched it the first time and re-watched it, it was all within a period. And I'm like, yo, don't muck with this film. When I watched it, it's not that I didn't enjoy it, but I was like, 
Not as good as I remember. Correct. That was the, that Correct. was the, that was the feel. Yep. Not as good and I'll as also I remember. say this: that ending does not work for me. That that thing on the bridge where they cross paths, I'm like, <sighs> doesn't land for me that ending at all. There are there are times I'm like, you're not giving me the ending I want, but I'll accept it because it's not the ending I want. It oh, well, I don't it. It's, it's not a bad it. ending. It's just I think the ending does let the film down a little bit, like it could have given me more. Um, yeah. The movie is great, but also overrated. Shall we see the trailer? Go. Let us check out this this thing of beauty from Tony Indeed. Scott. There were 24 kidnappings in Mexico City in the last six days. See, there's that green filter I was yeah. telling you about. Have you protected a lot of children before, Mr. Christmas? Even overweight, he's still a handsome cat, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, there's no ugly cats. There's no ugly in Denzel. You know, I'm not good at that. Look at this editing, man. Oh! I appreciate that. 16 years of military experience, extensive counterterrorism. The world needs Tony Scott. Back, what happened right? to your hand? It's a birth defect. No, it's not. No more questions. That's it. Mm. Period. You hear me? Peter just wants to be friends. I regret that your profession needs to be exist. That fraud so Mitchell. I, He's like a bear. Yeah. Big sad bear. Big sad bear. <laughs> Good things happen too, Prissy. God, look how young yeah. Dakota is. It's freaky. Like meeting me. Prissy, you're smiling. Pizza! Pizza! Run! See how both of us have all gone silent because this is intense. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, Tony. God, we miss you. What are you gonna do? Okay, it's reminding me how freaking good it is. In my way. Anybody who profits from it, anybody who opens their eyes at me. I'm gonna kill him. Tell me about Chrissy. I'd like to understand you. A man can be an artist in anything. It depends on how good he is. Alex. It depends on how death. good he is. He's about to paint his masterpiece. His masterpiece. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. April 2004. <laughs> Mad, isn't it? Crazy, isn't it? So oh. crazy. Oh. I know, right? Do you know, again, plug in other episodes of this show. We were talking about how a trailer could give away too much. This was this just is great. Perfect. It gives perfect. you just great enough trailer. of what you need. It tells you who, how the bond is built, what happens, why he is the man on fire. That's all you need. That's all you, you know need. he's going to develop a bond with this little girl, that things are going to go wrong, and he's going to turn into a bad mother flubber. Yeah. And Ooh. the movie. Chills. It is, it yeah, dude. It is Chills. great. Do you know what? I I'm actually last comment. I'm almost scared to rewatch this as a dad because the oh god, the idea of that happening to my kids. Warning to all parents: don't go to Mexico City. Um, <laughs> apparently, but yeah, AJ, I'm gonna give my ranking here. I'm gonna give it a, a thumb and a half. I gotta go thumb and a half on this. It's not quite two because that ending is. It, the ending is a letdown, and much like yourself, rewatching it is not as it, it. It's law of diminishing returns. Once you've seen it once, it doesn't have that same impact again. So I'm just a bit higher than you. I'm too, going to too high on that. Um, because I believe. Put it this way: if we're talking about going down memory lane and rewatch, then we might be telling people, "Yeah, you might be a bit disappointed." In which point, I can't call it the greatest of all time. However, for those of you who are just catching up with the dudes and be like, okay, I like the way you guys refer recommend a film from the past. Or if you're a younger generation who's like, I'd like to see a film from the past, by all means, and I think you're going to love the ride. It's oh, yeah. as you 
as it part as time progresses. And I, I don't. This is one of those films that it's not going to be a quality issue. It's not that oh, the the graphics are going to go old. It's very like, yeah, it's realistic. It, it, it's not it, going to age this movie. Yeah. So it's not it's not relying on CG or anything like that to really like throw you off. So like for all all intents, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna enjoy this film. So for that, it's a two thumbs up because I, I I think it's a film you need to see. It just depends on the gap after you've seen it the first time. You might be like, ah, eh, it's not as good as I remember. That's what it was for me. But definitely, first time, blow you away. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. And uh, yeah, but if you guys are into classic movie reviews, do give the video a like. If movies are your jam, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We're here every day of the week. So if you want to see, see two guys talk movies, this is the channel for you. But until next time, I'm Nico Luro. He's AJ. We out of here. See ya. See ya.